when we take our phone, no one is even interested to, to Google and say, how can I invest? invest? Yeah. Everyone is like, who got pregnant? <laughs> eh? <laughs> who bought who a car? And you are taking a matatu going home. <laughs> oh my no one is thinking. Christians, we, don't, we do not see opportunities. Mm. And then this is the escape route of a Christian. We are waiting to go to heaven. We have made heaven an escape route. Mm. Eh? When the Bible says, do not, do not store up your treasures. I've met pastors. Do not store up your treasure, not earth. Where are the moths who will eat them? So we are... We are... <laughs> Let me make another statement. You listening to me. I want to make this statement and I want the world to hear me. Christianity is not stupidity. The day you became a Christian is not the day God told you now live a life the way you want. Jesus told his disciples, come, not, oh my God, relimbro shata. Notice what I'm about to say. He told them, come, I will make you fishers. He did not take the ability to fish away. Mm. He just showed them that you can now do the same thing in a bigger level. Fish men. Mm. The ability is still there. Oh my God, listen to me. Mm. He saw the ability, that's why he chose. Mm. Every disciple Jesus used had an ability before he called them. In order for you to get saved, it was not an accident. God saw an ability inside you, and he wants to use it. What is your ability? Or you are just wasting time passing by? In this world, there are people who pass by. They just live to die. They have no idea why they are alive. <laughs> I'm telling you, if you sit outside there and ask people, just look for people and just ask them, when they are passing here, what is your vision? You will be shocked at the answers they'll give you. They have no idea what a vision is. They want provision and they don't know what vision is. Now today, one of the things that has even saddened me is we go and find a Range Rover parked and the diva, the girls who are divas and the boys who want to show people that they're making it, they take a selfie with someone's car and then they pause because now they've realized that they don't have, so they have to fake it. They are faking it and you don't need to fake it. God told you, I can give you the ability to make it. Why are you faking it? So one day I sat in a, in a meeting in my country and I called 10 people, some of my friends who are millionaires. One of my friends told me, a friend I was giving fair, Papa Emile, mm. fair. Mm. I'm the one who was giving that person fair. fair. Mm. Transport to take a matatu. Mm. Three, four years later, after sharing what I'm sharing with you, four years later, we didn't even meet. He came and met me again. The person told me every two weeks, they give 500,000 Kenyan shillings in a chama. What do you call a chama here? A meeting. Um, uh, no, 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 Achama, no, 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 Achama is understand. Exactly, but with local, people, like with here. People, yeah. mm. We all, we sit together and we say, every week, everyone is going to be bringing a certain money mm. for a specific mm. vision. We take the money to the bank, mm. and then the, we build the capacity in like five months. Mm. The bank gives us a loan, we buy an apartment, we begin to build. Thinking! The person, I used to give him fair, Papa Emile. You know now, mm. he's giving every two weeks, they give 500,000 and there are 20 people. 500,000 Kenya, Kenya shillings, shillings not Rwanda money. Dollars. Okay, Five, in dollars, mm. uh, 500,000 is, is, is mm. uh, 5,000 5, US dollar, mm. every two weeks. Mm. And there are 20 people. Mm. And I used to give the guy fare, transport for Matatu. What is the figure for the fare you used to give to him? 200 shillings, Kenya. Mm. How much? Uh, two, uh, two dollars. Two dollars. <laughs> oh my goodness. They sit in a group of 20 people and in one month, mm. every two weeks, is they give, in one month they give $10,000, mm. every person. Mm. 20 people giving $10,000 do a simple mathematics mm. and they are saved people. Mm. Young men, 26, 27 years. That's a years. portion of what they have. That's a portion. They just take a small portion of what they have then they give to one another to, to push their agenda. And then they say, now we are 20. This month, what is your dream? Mm. We are pushing your agenda. Mm. Everyone brings one $10,000, we, we push the agenda. Next, we push your agenda. In a year, they had developed 20 companies. You know one company, how much it is? 15 million Kenya shillings. Mm. One company. Mm.
But if you tell this to the church, you know what they want to hear? I see your car coming. I see your house coming. I see your wife coming. They do not sit and ask there. Say, how are they coming? First of all, pastor, relax. Teach me how they are coming. Teach me. If you want the greatest businessman in the Bible is Jesus. Even coming on earth was for profit. He looked and says, what are you going to give me, God, if I come on earth to save them? God says, I'm going to give you them. Jesus calculates, I am one. They are, over, they are billions. So if I can give myself, I can get over 50 billion people. Okay, it's common sense. Then he dies on the cross. Because the math calculation. <laughs> but the church is busy believing in making noise. The world is moving the agenda. $10,000 they sit. In every month, they put $40,000 on the table. It's two years. They are building a project of 2 billion Kenya shillings, housing project. <laughs> but you see, when you talk about money, the church shuts its mind. You know, they have given money to the devil. So let me make another statement, a very dangerous statement. <laughs> the Bible says the love of money is the root of all evil. Huh? Did this say money? Understand scripture well. Love comes before money. The love, love is the most important thing, not money. <laughs> it's when you love money. Now let's understand the meaning of the word love. In the Bible, the Bible says God is love. It's simply telling you, when you make money your God, it becomes the root of all evil. Do you get it? It's not the money that is the root of all evil. It's when that money begins to guard you around. You can kill for it. You cannot give for it. But money itself is an empowerment to preach. Money itself is an empowerment to build hospitals. The church should be having hospitals. The church should be having schools. The church should be having investments. Help the, the, the country. Let the country... Yani kanisa ikismama inchinas mama. The country stops when the church stops. But today, even though the church stops, the country still moves on. Because the weight. There is no weight. 